Derek, it has been a minute. Yes. We're on your turf. Last time I, I saw you was Bristol. It's so <laughs> good, good to see you, bro. You. I like the subtle red you have going on, looking dapper as usual. Looks but it's great, great to have you. you here. It's great to have you here in person. Well, you know, I had to outdo him right now. Yes, I sir. want to set the tone right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Okay. Start yeah. with the dress code. <laughs> I'm surprised y'all don't have a barrier right here, because he say let's play the game right now. Let's play right I, now. I got a snap in me. Yeah. I'll tell you more right now. He thinks he's got a I like too. my chances right now. Stand up against this guy. Oh, my goodness. Hey, D. What do you remember D, about the Super Bowl 37? <laughs> well, when I remember that, honestly, I felt our Super Bowl was won the week before in Philly. Okay. Uh, Donovan and that group at that time had knocked us out of the playoffs a couple years, and, yep. and Philly was that team that we just couldn't get over the, over the hump with. Obviously led to the fire in the Coach Dungey, and Coach Gruden came, and it was just a confidence infused into our team, particularly offensively, that we felt as we got going really late in that season and we wanted to play Philly. We did. We yeah. wanted to go back there and get it done. And I felt we won the Super Bowl that day. So playing the Raiders, obviously, you know, John knew that personnel, but we had so much confidence going into that game. It was like we already won it. And you well, sealed I, the deal. Can I just say one thing? Coach sure. Dungy will be with us in our 2 o'clock yes. show live. Yeah. So we're I, looking forward to having I, him. I think it's important to point out one of the biggest reasons why they won that Super Bowl was because they had thawed out. Because of the <laughs> NFC Championship Ooh, game, I covered right. that game. That it was, was it, 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 it was. Listen, uh, I looked was. 300 pounds because I had on two. Remember, I told you I had on two snorkels. Yes, I had on two snorkels, <laughs> three layers of pants. I didn't know what about, a snorkel I mean, was. I wear a size 12 and a half, 13 shoe. I was wearing a size 15 because of the big, thick socks I was wearing. <laughs> it was the, it was the coldest game I ever had to cover in my yes. career. And y'all handled your business. But let's let, let's fast forward to yes. now. Yes. Um. I'm picking the Buccaneers to win this game. Derek, Brown, Derek, I want you, I want you to tell this audience right, to tell him. and a national audience yes. why that's going to happen, particularly based off of what we've seen for the roller coaster that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been on this right, year. Right. I think really, Stephen A., going into that Carolina game in the way that they were able to turn it around and win that game and win a division to get in. You saw a team that, ran, that again, ran the ball enough to stay ahead of the downs and stay balanced. You saw with that, uh, that allowed the big passing game and the big playability of Brady to Evans, that combination come alive. At the same time, with people, that game, they keep look at the big plays, but you look at the intermediate plays. Godwin able to get back into the floor of that offense in the immediate downs, and Tom never being pressured. Defensively, we got back to getting turnovers and getting the field short for our offense at yep. that particular time, and that just bred a confidence in this football team and the way that they played the second half that's the winning formula, and I think that's what you're going to see tonight. All right, well, here's Gary, what we're going to do. Good, hold on, man. hold on, Irv. Gary Irv. looks good. No, he stands up here. He sounds <laughs> so strong, and yeah. this is what happened. But what flow or what offense? That offense <laughs> hadn't had a flow to it all this okay, season Okay, okay. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, what flow have you guys had the last four weeks? Well, well, they were Turnovers, right, interceptions, right, right, right. injuries. Right, right, right. But they put up 33 points when you all are putting up 18. In my math, 33 beats 18 every day. In my math, look, in my math, if a team is one point better than you, you lose. Yeah, I don't care right. if it's three to that's two right. or 99 I, I, I to 100. That. I take that. But you I'm lose. You haven't had any flow to the offense all yeah. season long. You yes. haven't had any flow. Can I ask and, a question? And, and, and the ask you a question? And the defense, and the defense, and the defense, and the defense, and the defense. Let me ask you a question, Michael Irvin. Uh, you, you Usually, I, 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 the best game in Tampa. Can I ask you a question? 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 You can ask a question. Michael Irvin, since you're so confident, about the Dallas Cowboys tonight, why are you sitting here with colors that resemble more Tampa Bay than Dallas? <laughs> I mean, why? Why? I'm Another just Christmas suit? You I'm have just to get one. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch me enough on Sunday, you'll know that I do this just to pay homage to the <laughs> team that is about to lose. No. I wear the color of the other team to pay homage to the team okay. that is about to lose. You're on your way to the grave. Right, right. I might as well wear your color as you pass by me. That's what we are about to do. I'm helping you no. out.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.